Hi there, LinkedIn family. Jonathan here from Social Me Too. And today is the first recording with our, our new branding. And it's the first time that we're recording whilst the website www.socialmetoo.org has been live now for a few weeks. And I encourage everyone who is affected or triggered by the discussions we're going to be having today to go to that website because I'm going to be asking each of my panel members to contribute to a section under the trauma heading where we're going to share stories of coping, how people deal with what can be very unpleasant situations. So today I'm joined by Joseph who is responsible for putting this talk together he invited Shivani, Adenike and Fifo um, so uh, let's go and speak to them first of all uh, and get their sort of their uh, elevator pitch uh, so Shivani tell us about yourself my name is Shivani Madan Bose I'm a mental wellness expert I have also been working in the field of gender equity and protection of women against sexual harassment. I'm a certified POSH trainer. I have my own organization known as Proud HR Services. Okay, uh, just to uh, let people know that don't know, uh, Shivani and I did a talk before. POSH is the prevention of sexual harassment, which is a law in India. Joseph, tell us about yourself. Hello, I'm Joseph Ahansi. I'm a career coach certified as a mental health therapist recently. And uh, I'm basically just in love with helping people be their best self. So that's me. Very nice. Very nice. Adenike, tell us about yourself. Okay, my name is Adenike Shreyombo. Uh, I'm a lead coach at Mass Academy Mentorship with Adenike Shreyombo, where I help people on their journey to self-discovery, um, purpose discovery and personal development. I also run an NGO for ladies where we empower them um, with skills, leadership skills, soft skills and entrepreneurial skills. Mm, very nice, very nice. FIFA. Yeah. So I should go on. Yes. Okay, so I'm FIFA Obami. I'm a student and I'm a content creator and a self-discovery coach. I am passionate about seeing people have a voice in society and helping them discover their purpose and the reason for their existence. And I just love, I love it when people are comfortable, happy and have a voice in the society, not being neglected or something. So I think that's just a little about myself. Excellent, excellent. So um, we've got a lot of people uh, from different uh, stratas, but we all have an urge to help others. So what we're going to be looking at today uh, is ways of identifying the people who are likely the traits of abusers, uh, whether it be physical or uh, mental through social media. We're going to identify um, people, sorry, we're going to look at the psychological effects of abuse on people around that individual. So the children of someone who's being abused mentally or physically, uh, the parents and other people that are linked to you. We're going to look at the um, how to take back control uh, and get the strength to leave an abusive relationship. And as I said, I'm going to get each of the panel members to contribute to the social me too website to give you ideas of how you can get your strength and how you can take back control and then finally we're going to look at ways of overcoming scars caused by abuse so throwing it out to the room i'd like joseph because you've picked this topic you to give us an idea about what sort of abuse you're talking about 